All right, y'all, since people seem to like my rants, I honestly don't know why, but they do. I'm going to give y'all one on this situation, the Titan, this uh, Titanic, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, here we go. These people knew from the jump what happened. You got to understand, these people do this for a living, okay? They probably been knew that these people on this submarine been pink mist since Sunday, okay? Their mindset was probably, again, this is all speculation because I'm not a fucking professional, but their mindset was probably, look, man, let's just find this thing now, get it over with, find out what happened, give this family some kind of closure, okay? I can actually respect that part because that's equivalent to, like, if you been, let's say, married to someone for 10 years and literally out the fucking blue, they just poof, disappear, no sign of a trace, no sign of nothing. There's not a human being on this entire planet that will be able to properly deal with that, probably except for some extremely high-level spiritual masters. And that's only like maybe one, two, three, maybe four. That will be able to properly deal with that. So I could totally understand that. But their mindset was like, look, man, let's just find this thing, get this shit over with. Let's get to the bottom of it. They knew like these again, these people do this shit for a living. OK, they know they probably took one look at that thing and say, yo, that shit popped. No freaking question. It's been done since Sunday. Let's just get to the bottom of it. You know what I'm saying? Because I always used to like, I, I look at these videos and I'm fascinated with the Titanic just like a lot of people probably are. I just look at these videos and I'm like, okay. And then they just break down how the whole fucking ship sunk 100 years ago. They're like, okay, the front filled up with water, ass went in the air, shit separated. On the way down, the whole shit exploded and the drop is so fucking far that when it hits the ground it created this huge dent in the sand and it's so far that this piece is here and this piece is like a mile over i'm like how the fuck do y'all know that and you know i just got they do this for a living they study this shit they know this okay we we we're just a bunch of twitter fucking idiots who don't know nothing about goddamn ships. The majority of us probably won't even get on them shits. So we don't know shit. And you got to keep in mind also, these people don't tell you everything they know. And I respect them for that. They're smart enough to know not to tell people everything they know. So I promise you, I promise you, there's people who knew these motherfuckers been pink mist since Sunday and they just like, look, man, let's just find this because you, you, you know what I'm saying? You know how people are, man. You know what I'm saying? Somebody out there, these are, these are rich people. Okay. And I got nothing against that. You do what you want with your money. I got nothing against that. These are rich fucking people. Okay. And with money and wealth comes a whole lot of fucking power. So. You know, somebody somewhere is going to say, Oh, you didn't do the best you can to find my insert, whatever title you want here. We're going to sue you for a trillion dollars in damages, even though this motherfucker skipped every common sense safety procedure in the world and the whole shit. It's his fucking fault. We're still going to sue you for a centillion amount of dollars because you didn't do the best you can to find them. Let's be honest, that's how people be jiving out here. So these people knew what time it is, man. And and and, and, and on another subject, you know, but I'm gonna tell you one thing about this, man. I I I do I do get I do respect this man in one aspect that he fucking tried. I give it to I would never in my life knock somebody for trying. I can't do it. It's just not who I am. So I give him some credit for fucking trying, although he was cocky out of his mind, okay? And it's like he completely didn't respect the fact that, hey, bitch, it took us over a 100 years to fucking find this, okay? One of the biggest reasons, man, there's not a lot of vehicles that can go down there, period. So, but I give the man some credit for trying. I would never, ever, ever knock somebody for trying. And on that note, I think I'm going to just close with, 
I think, I think, I think I'm a, I'm completely shift gears and say I think my man Elon deserves a little bit more respect because Elon knows how to stay in his fucking lane. Okay, I think that man gets a lot of flack for no goddamn reason. He like, hey man, we finna go to Mars. That shit down the street. I we been there before, fifty years ago, with no issues. Let that shit down the street. Let's just, you know what I'm saying. Elon, even even Elon got the comments and say, "Hey man, we let's go check out these other galaxies. That's like two hundred miles away out the goddamn solar system. Let's go peep what's going on over there." He like, "Nah, fam, we finna go to Mars. That shit right up the street, man. That's what we finna attack." And this man blew up, like, I don't know, literally at least 10 rockets, okay, before he could confidently say, okay, let's put some people on this thing. So I give my man Elon a whole bunch of credit, too, for going about his exploration the right way. You know, this other guy, I don't know if he was trying to be a modern age Winston Churchill or some shit and just, you know, coming up with a whole bunch of quotes that sound cute. But obviously, in the end, it didn't fare out too well. So, hey, man, I guess that's my rant. I got no perfect way to end this because this story has no perfect ending. It's fucked up.